That's a couch with a cushion. Ho ho, baby! Will got a new hat. Established 2002 coal necessities for fine living. And if there's anything Will knows anything about, it's fine living. I mean, you know. Staying cozy, uh, just like Kirk on the couch over there. I think you're gonna like, I think you might find it interesting. I mean, I don't know how well it's gonna work. I have seen versions of this in the past. It's never been the perfect implementation. It's hard to figure out how to do these things. It's the portable laptop monitor to give you the dual screen setup on the go. But these guys, they think they nailed it. It's the Mobile Pixels Duex Pro. It's 12.5 inches. And as you can see, it has a hinge type of thing that allows it to live there permanently. And when not in use, allows it to swing around back like a display on the backside of your laptop. Now that could be cool for presentations in the corporate world. You know about Jack. We're in the boardroom and people are gathered around and I'm mirroring my display and you guys know where we're at as a company. And the truth of the matter is it's been downhill for a while. And I hate to break it to you, but we're gonna have to make some tough decisions around here, starting with the dog. <laughs> Duex Pro, USB-C cable three feet, USB-C to A cable three feet. So I guess it can work over USB-A as well. 12 metal adhesive plates for three laptops. It's going to use these metal plates and likely some magnets to sit there with this frame. They claim it will boost your productivity by up to 50%. Guy like Will doing the Photoshop, guy like Jack doing the final cut, Kirk doing the web browsing. Which website is he on, Will? Um, cinema.com. Yeah! This is the MacBook Air. This is actually the famous MacBook Air with the busted E key. We also have a Huawei MateBook. I believe that's also a 13 inch. They say that this will work just as well with both Mac and Windows. Okay. How about the installation guide on, on the backside of the lid? Make sure the monitor is seated against the tabletop during use. Interesting. Okay, so they want the table to take some of the weight. Whoa! Plate fest back there. Ooh, those are powerful and they're already sticking. So it's just 3M adhesive. Okay, so those are your powerful magnets which will connect to the metal plates. It has a relatively nice finish as far as plastic is concerned. We have a dedicated brightness control. You also have your type C connector and that's pretty much it. USB C to A and I like the fact that they have a right angle connector here on the C side flush with the edge of the monitor. Yes, all right, out. Out and go, out and out and out. Presentation mode, back of the laptop. Swing double. Figured it out, Will. Don't need your help. Thanks for offering. Maybe next time. The frame is larger than a 13 inch laptop. So maybe you want to actually have this on a bigger laptop, like a 15 inch or something. Think we should go with this or do it on a 15? Will, do you mind bringing your MacBook over here, sir? Does that make more sense? Will, you're getting kitted up. You're getting gear, geared out, kitted up. Where's the enthusiasm? I guess you have a little bit of play because the magnet is much smaller than the metal plate. So you can still make your fine tuned adjustments. Also want to make sure the bottom side actually sits some of the weight on the table. The moment of truth. We angle. Do we have something here, ladies and gentlemen? You done know. How sturdy? Hey man, sturdy enough. Okay, your laptop looks a little crazy when you're not using it. Isn't it dangerous to have oh. magnets just like by a hard drive? Why are you guys so anti-magnet around here? <laughs> Bang, you clip it on. I mean instantly, that's gonna be great for editing. If you're editing or in after effects or anything like that, creative type of guy. Like Will. Look at this, powered by the thing, booting. Well, it was on it, there you go. Will reading manuals, it's rude. What's weird about it is it's not something you're gonna flip around on the fly because of that USB cable. If I go all the way around, 
Oh, I guess they made it long enough. It works. Definitely ah. works. Will's really angry right now. Both of us. With the brightness controls, you're probably gonna set it and forget it. Uh, Showtime rotisserie uh, grill. Showtime rotisserie, set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. What does this word say right here? Ubuntu. <laughs> Just like Antutu. <laughs> I think we should cut. No! It's gonna install a Catalina. Oh. Jack already, started. Kirk already has Catalina. Did you just bring your Catalina over here? <laughs> wow, look at all that Catalina. It's the Will and Kirk show right now. So we got two laptops here, none of them work. This product is Laptops. Bad. Cool, I think it's working. Yeah. Will, where are you going? Where are I'm you going? <laughs> wow, he's gone. Job well done, Will. You nailed it. I was worried about you and you nailed it. That's a dual screen setup right there. Kaboom is your typical dual monitor heaven on your laptop, on your slap chop, as Will likes to call it. Productivity through the roof, 50% improvement. Mm, TPS reports, your company goes straight to the top. You would probably just open up YouTube on one page and you might just swing your old YouTube over here and you might swing a video on. You might swing an unbox therapy video like this. Then you're over here. How about he's just reading about the Xiaomi Mi 10? If you're Will, that's what you're doing. He's researching a cheaper alternative to the Galaxy S20 Plus, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. So you're reading, you're watching. I mean, it's a beautiful setup. It's work, it's play, it's double work. Do we have a price point on this, Will? 250. Is that high or low? It's high. Jack says high. Presentation, TPS reports, or just sharing a video with your pals. You flip, bang, and it's all being fed from the laptop. The other thing is when you're all done and you go back to your uh, proper package, you just slam that out of there. That guy comes out of there. This goes into your laptop bag. It's not that big. No separate power supply, which is nice. It's feeding video and power. And then you just slide this guy back, close it down. You can travel, I suppose, like this. Look at Will's even got a moth stand on here. Holy accessorized MacBook Pro. Will do sponsored by moth over here. Oh! Oh, you're moth. You're mothin. It's so close, but no. You're dead. So you close it up and you're closed down and you carry the thing like this. You slide it in. It sort of feels like a laptop from uh, 1987. Uh, what can I say? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Like Jack's saying at 250, you're gonna really need to see some type of productivity improvement. But if you use the type of apps where you're constantly in need of some extra space, like I, what comes to mind for me is a Photoshop type app where you can't fit all your tools and you might not have the space physically for a whole desktop setup. This is probably the smallest little way to do a dual screen setup, is just start with your laptop, skip the extra power supply, do it over one cable. It's so magical. Is this one of yours, Will? Did you bring this to us? Willie do, ladies and gentlemen, need I say more?